Majesty, what do you think we ought to do with the prisoners? Uh, well, I... I know. The most fitting punishment would be to make them go to school for a year with Myelin as a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I'm wrong, I gather your young knights are not over fond of lessons. <laughs> 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 If you're in agreement, Prince Rackle, my idea would be to keep the prisoners here until you're safely out of the desert, and then... And then what? Well, I'd simply bung them back up to the surface in the middle of the desert and set them free. I think a walk home with the sun beating down would kick out some of the nastiness that's rolling around inside them. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesty, it was truly a lucky day when we ran into you. I don't know how to thank you, either for your hospitality or your help. <laughs> Craig, Prince Rackle, we did nothing more than our duty, and we did it very happily. I'll have you accompanied by two of my trusty guards who know this underground labyrinth quite well. It won't exactly be an easy stroll, but it will be a lot better than being up on the surface under the broiling sun. Be careful, Rodan! What? Oh, there's something strange going on! that come together at intervals of 10 seconds, we must advise Prince Rackall. I don't see how it's going to be possible to get the whole army through without being blown away like fluff in a seashore breeze.
Would you call the Cavaliers of Earth and Air, Highness? There's a problem they might be able to help us with. And send the two guides forward, please. If you'll be so kind, my friends. We'll go forward, but carefully. Don't tell me you trolls have figured out how to use this passage without being blown away. Given our unique molecular construction, we can avoid the little spot of trouble up ahead by simply passing through the rock. Only I can see where, for the rest of you, that might be a problem. Dinosaurs and men aren't built the way we are. It's impossible. I think we'll just have to go back and look for another road. I don't think that'll be necessary. These rocks are our friends. They want to help. to be higher, the Tyrannosauruses would never get through. Gaia! He doesn't say much, but when he acts, watch out. <laughs> Thank you, friends. Take pride in knowing that you have helped Prince Rackle in his battle against the forces of evil. Rackle, the Earth is opened in order to provide safe passage for you and your entire army. I don't know how I can ever thank you, Cavalier of the Earth. I shudder to think how this mission might have ended up if you and your brothers hadn't come along. Promised us easy work, good pay, and lots of R and R time. I mean, come on. Did you ever know an honest recruiter? Your Majesty, we are ready to rid ourselves of this foul scum on your order. We obey. Can we have a little less noise? Silence, you foul beast! His Majesty is about to speak. <laughs> We're a civilized people and there will be no executions, but there must be a just punishment. You're gonna bash our brains out on the roof of this cavern? You call that a just punishment? You call that civilized? <laughs> there, if you like, is a perfect shining example of the difference between our races. You think only in terms of evil and cruelty. It's amazing. We're pacifists. Such thoughts would never cross our minds. The roof of this cavern is made of a thin layer of clay, above which is the desert sand. You will be catapulted upwards and through it with no worse wounds than a bump on the head, which no one ever died from. I must say, you tempt me sorely to use some of your own methods on you, but that, of course, would be abhorrent to our philosophy, and as such, I could not countenance it. Therefore, your punishment will be limited to a pleasant stroll amongst the picturesque dunes of the desert. Is he ever going to stop talking? Hmm. <laughs> no, wait. I just wanted to take a minute to inform you that should I ever again have the unfortunate experience of seeing your wretched faces in my kingdom, I will kick my noble principles in the snoot and turn most emphatically into a warmonger. Tell that to the filth you work for. Cut the rope. <laughs> That's 
fool let us free! The farther we go, the more I think we would have been better off trying to cross the desert. I'm more interested in where we're going to wind up rather than how we're going to get there. What do you mean where we're going to wind up? Beyond the desert, of course. If so, it'll be the first time. Since the first day we started on this little adventure of ours, nothing has gone exactly the way it was supposed to go. What's the matter? Isn't this a big enough problem for you? Well, this rope bridge hasn't been used for years. It could be very dangerous. Let's see. I don't know. It looks just like all the other rope bridges we have back home in the Forgotten Lands. Why worry about it, Lord Chaka? Me ex, I sometimes think the only thing you use your brain for is to keep your ears from rubbing together. Have you considered Sluggard? Have you considered the Tyrannosauruses? What do we do with them? No, you're right on the money, Professor. I have to hand it to you. I hadn't thought of that at all. Excuse me. We may have the solution. Anything that will get us out of this situation is welcome. Let's hear your idea. The Tyrannosauruses and I have been examining the problem since long before you got here. And I don't think it's fair that Miak should be taken to task for his ideas. I can't stand to see my friends ill-treated, because anyone who treats them ill treats me ill, too. And I am not the kind of snail you want to trifle with, believe you me. Sluggard, this is an army, and as such, respect and discipline are fundamental. That's quite all right, Sir Sean. Sluggard, I'm honored that you're part of our army, and I'd be proud to be considered your friend. What does a group need to stay tight-knit, friends? Esprit de corps! It's irreplaceable! Now Oh, Sluggard, may I kindly ask you to share your idea with us? Thank you for your kind words, Mylan. It was a pleasure to hear them. All right, now that the little love feast is over, spit it out. Well? It's really extraordinarily simple. The best ideas usually are, as has been noted by philosophers down through the centuries. The Tyrannosaurus is an Isle Cross last. So if we fail, we'll have the satisfaction of knowing we did our best. Elegantly Cartesian in its simplicity, Nespa. Be careful, you stupid, clever processing plant. I couldn't bear to lose you. I'd die. <laughs> We'll be waiting for you on the other side. Be careful. Sluggard, you know, you really ought to empty your shell before you cross over. You got enough stuff in there to stock an emporium. Uh, the lad's quite right, actually. Get rid of that ballast and you'll be far lighter and taking much less of a risk. No, I couldn't even dream of doing that. Apart from my clover reserves, every precious thing I ever owned in my life is back there. I'll go last. I'll take the risk. Your 
Highness. Our task for you has finished at this point now. Once you've gone through the cascade of subterranean energy, you'll come out into the open. Uh, what is this cascade, Rackle? We'd better find out. How deep is the cascade, and at just what point do we come out of it? I'm sorry, Your Highness, but we don't know. No troll is able to go through it or even penetrate it. Something to do with our particular molecular structure, I think. Sorry. Sir Sean Sluggard's gonna be just fine. Mm -hmm, I hope you're right. Your Highness, we wish you every success in completing your mission. It's been an honor for us to help you, sire. If we reach our goal, it will be thanks to you in no small part. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rolls. Thank you, our friend. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Goodbye. Thanks a lot. Thanks again. Thanks for everything. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Bye. Now, where are you guys going? Our task is over. We head home for a hot meal. Tell His Majesty thank you for us, will you? We certainly will. We'll be sure to do that. And thank you. Goodbye, goodbye, my friend. Goodbye, my Goodbye, Thank you. Goodbye. I feel a flow of extremely potent vital energy coming out, but it could also be highly dangerous. I'll have to think about this. Ah. Incredible! Even when we're not being attacked by the enemy, we always find something or other that keeps us from making progress. Yes, Hang Wung's right. Time's running short, and if we're to complete our mission, we simply have to overcome any obstacles we find. And the only way we're ever going to find out what kind of energy that is, is for me to go inside on a reconnaissance mission. I'll be back as soon as I can. Cavalier, are you all right? We're gonna need great strength of character. The energy inside there is overpoweringly strong. Once inside, you'll find you're in a space-time continuum warp where past, present, and future are all mixed up. Oh. It's difficult to keep your sanity. It's gonna take every ounce of will we all have. Listen carefully, please. I'm gonna ask all of you to sit down, take your places, and concentrate. What you all have to do now is free your minds from any earthbound conditions and preconceived influences. Your bodies will be free of constrictions, you will feel no thirst, no hunger, no weariness. What matters is the mind. <laughs> 